Hello people of the web and YouTube, DDBK here, and today I'm going to be teaching you how to rip models and textures out of some of your favorite video games using Ninja Ripper 1.7.1. .1. Now with that said, by the time this video comes out, there's a good chance I've already updated this program. If so, some of the options may be in different places, or some of the options may not be there at all anymore. So with that said, if you're following along using Ninja Ripper 1.7.1, .1, you should be good to go. But with that said, how this program works is it targets DirectX compatible games. So if you have a DirectX 11 game, 9 game, 8 game, 7 or 6 based game, you should be able to rip models out of it. Also, this does include emulators, so you can use this on emulator based programs. However, some emulators need to be configured in order to this in order for this program to work, I should say. But yeah, for the ease of simplicity, I'm going to be ripping some models out of Halo Combat Evolved using this Ninja Ripper. But before some of you guys comment, I am aware Halo Combat Evolved comes with its own modding tools and a model viewer, so it's kind of redundant ripping models out of a game that already has the option to basically rip every model out without needing to use any third party tool. But we're just going to be doing it for the sake of the tutorial pretty much. But yeah, to actually use this program you want to click the three dots here and navigate to where your game's executable is. Now if you're doing certain games, some of them will have more than one executable, so make sure you're grabbing the right executable. And if you get everything set up in the end and it doesn't work, you will want to change the intruder and checked option here to one of these wrapper options. Essentially this installs a DLL to where that EXE is located. That way you don't even have to have Ninja Ripper open to rip a model directly from it. I suggest only using this if the game is giving you issues because once you install the DLL you will have to manually uninstall it and thankfully Ninja Ripper comes with a helpful guide explaining what DLLs that you need to remove from the game's directory after they're installed there to get your game functioning like it should. But we're not going to be messing with wrappers today, we're only going to be messing with injector intrude, intruder inject I should say. This basically launches the game with the ability to rip it right away without needing to install a wrapper, but if your game's giving you issues and you know what version of DirectX it's using, then I suggest using the DirectX wrapper. But yeah, I'm just going to keep that option on default, and after we got our options set, we got to go down here to Output Directory and specify where you want your rips saved. In my case, I'm going to be saving them here on the desktop in my Ninja Ripper folder, but by default, this should save right in your document somewhere. But for the sake of time, I'm going to be ripping my rips right to the desktop in this folder here. And as you can see, I've already done a rip of this game earlier just to make sure Ninja Ripper is fine. So I'm going to delete that, give ourselves a fresh start, and close out. And we're almost done setting up this program to rip our game. The only thing we need to do now is set a hotkey to press when we're in the game to, well, start ripping models and textures out of it. To set a hotkey, you just gotta hit settings, go under the rip key section, and I suggest making sure, since we're probably gonna be using all for every game we're using, you wanna make sure your all key isn't bound by anything in the game. So let's say you're playing Minecraft and F10 is the windowed mode and full screen mode. You will basically want to unbind that key in game or change the key binding here before firing up the game. Because if you push a hotkey that closes the game or opens up some kind of debug menu while you're trying to rip a menu, that can give you some very nasty errors or game crashing. So, yeah, check your key bindings. Make sure you're not using that specific key in game. And after you've done that, Make sure you got your secondary key set up, which is the forced option. The forced option does exactly what it says it does. It essentially repeatedly pushes the all key till it grabs a model or texture for about 10 seconds. Um, this is useful if the game is loading and it cuts somewhere really quick, but you want that one specific model before the game can cut out and load. You may want to use the forced option in that scenario. But yeah, that's basically it, so I'm just going to hit OK, and from here we can just hit Run. Once we got everything else set up, it's as simple as hitting Run, 
And when we're in game, all you should have to do is push F10. The game will stutter for a second, meaning it's grabbing all the textures from the game and the models, and then it should resume. And well, yeah, now that we're in game, all I gotta do is hit F10. And forgive me that the resolution gets weird. This game always records weird with OBS. But yeah, that's as simple as it is. I pushed F10 and now it's grabbed several models in the area around me that's been loaded in, as well as the texture files. But yeah, since I'm pretty sure this worked, I'm gonna quickly exit this game just by Alt F4ing it. Not the proper way to do that. But yeah, we're out of the game, and now we can start taking a look at our rips. Um, they will appear wherever you chose to output them to. I chose to output them to my desktop in the Ninja Ripper folder, and as you guys can see, there's our timestamp, the name of the executable, and our rips are inside of it. Now, this is useful if you plan to rip more than one game but want to have the same output folder. That way you don't get things confused if you're trying to do multiple rips. Anyway, I'm just going to open this folder up. And as you can see, there is a log file here. It will tell you if anything goes wrong. And as you can see, it looks like everything went right in my case. So I'm just going to close out of that. Open up this other folder and you guys should notice I got my rip files. Now there are going to be either a ton of them or very few of them depending on what game it is that you rip. Now some games also don't use texture files, they have materials automatically on the mesh itself. The only game I can think of that does this off the top of my head is Untitled, un entitled, uh, no, Untitled Goose Game. That game doesn't use a single texture in it as far as I'm aware but I could be wrong so correct me if I am. But as you guys can see, we got our textures, we got our models, and this is looking really, really good. So how do we exactly import or open up these RIP files? Well, the Ninja Ripper tool itself comes with several different importers for several different programs. As you guys can see, there's one for Blender, so we're going to be installing the Blender Ninja Ripper importer. However, if you got 3ds Max or... Yes, you can use those to import the models as well. Anyway, I'm just going to open up Blender. Um, this specific version of Blender that I got opened I know does not have the importer installed on it. And I don't really know what version of Blender this importer is meant to be used on. I just know I've installed it in the past and it seemed to work fine. So I'm going to be installing that add-on to import those rips today. And I'm going to be showing you guys how to do it. So you got to go up to File user preferences and when you're in here you want to navigate to add-ons then hit install add-on from file now i'm just going to navigate into the ninja ripper folder go into the tools folder go into the blender importer i've already unzipped it but sometimes you can install zips it's really weird i can never figure this out in blender sometimes zips install fine other times you got to navigate right to the pi file so that's what I'm doing. I'm going to unzip the Blender uh, Ripper and then open up the folder that has the import module in there. So we're just going to double click on that. And it, it's almost installed. There's actually one more step we got to do. And I've messed this up a couple of times installing add-ons in the past. So be sure you click on the checkbox here and uh, make sure that it's actually checked. If it's not checked, it won't install. But after that is done, you can hit save, refresh, and then close out. So yeah, that's basically it. We got our importer installed so we can go up to file, import, and we will have new options available for us in the import menu. As you guys can see, I got a Ninja Ripper import option, so I'm just going to click on that. And we're going to navigate to where our rips are at. So okay, here they are. Um, depending on your game, you could sometimes import all these at once. I don't recommend it, but since this game looks like it didn't spit out many files, I'm just going to import everything at once and hopefully the program doesn't crash. And yeah, that looked like it did good. Um, it doesn't look like it right away because everything is out of scale. All you got to do is select all the mesh, hit S, scale it down. As you can see, we start getting more detail, more objects start loading in. And yeah, there's our skybox for sure. 
If we zoom into there, other stuff should appear. Um, it, sometimes it's hard to tell what exactly it is you're looking at depending on the model. Um, you can actually go into rendered mode if you add down a light source. I'm just going to go add a lamp or hemisphere and we're going to change the rendering mode to rendered. And yeah, now you can see we got a better idea of what it is we're looking at. And I think we're looking at what is the halo um, ring, so to say. Aha, there we go. It was really, really tiny, guys. But you guys can see now we finally reached our Master Chief model. Um, this is actually the real Master Chief model. Master Chief is never fully rendered out. He's just a pair of hands. If you didn't know that, well, today you know that. And as you guys can see, there he is. Um, depending on your game, you may get different results. This game looks like it loads all the textures in the same spot. So that's why I had to zoom in so far or something. But yeah, depending on the game, and it will be different when you go to import it. But in most cases, all you got to do is zoom in or zoom out. And if your mesh is too far blown apart, you can select it all, go down to Object, Transform, and Transform to Origin. Sometimes that will solve all issues. Um, if I did that, I think we actually might get the level now. Yeah, we actually start to get some of the level. Anyway, that's basically it. That's how you rip models from um, games that are DirectX compatible. Now, it will be hard depending on the game finding the files once they're loaded in. You can just go by one by one in the importer if you wish to get results. But I suggest if you don't have a lot of files just to import all them rips at once. And just zoom and navigate around till you find, it is, find whatever it is you're looking for. And then from there, you could just select all the items you want. And then select by inverse by just going down to select inverse. And then you could delete everything and be left with only the, the model that you wish to have. And I accidentally deleted the light there. But yeah, as you can see now, all we got are Master Chief's arms. Anyway, I'm sure if there was more um, enemies nearby and loaded in, we would have got some enemy models, perhaps, because they render fully, and I'm sure maybe, even if I undid all this, they're there somewhere in this mesh. Um, it's just I don't have the time to dig around and look for them. But yeah, that is it, guys. It's basically it for this video, and I'm going to leave it off here. If you guys run into any issues, let me know down below in the comments, and I'll try to help you out to the best of my ability. But yeah, for now, I'm gonna leave this video off here. DTBK signing off. Peace. This model. And yeah, it did. As you can see now, there are two separate objects again. If I go back to object. And I'm gonna show you guys a couple of other results that I had or some other results that you could get.